Today we're looking at the Fire HD 10 Android Tablet from Amazon. Welcome back, I'm Kevin K from KevinK.com and on this channel I do a lot of product reviews, YouTube tutorials and a lot of live streaming. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. I'm going to leave a link in the description of this video so that you can get more information about this Amazon Fire HD 10 Android tablet or purchase one for yourself. Up until today, I've been using a Huawei MediaPad T5 Android tablet. It's been a few years, so I'm excited to have a new one that's updated. Both of these happen to have been Christmas gifts from my girlfriend, Kristen Welton, so thanks to her. I'm very excited about having this new tablet. When we open it up, we see it's well packaged. I just want to be careful. The tablet itself is here, and of course, we're going to find instruction manual, charging cable, of course, and this one happens to be USB-C. Looks like warranty information here. And not all devices these days are coming with a power boot, so I'm happy to have that. There's quite a few connections and features to go over before we power this tablet up. First thing is the front camera that you see here. There is an SD card slot on the bottom of the tablet. When we turn it to the side, we're gonna find a headphone jack. We're gonna find the plug-in for our power, which is USB-C, of course. And then we've got our volume up and down buttons and our power button. When we flip the tablet all the way over, we're gonna see that there's a rear camera as well. And speakers are located at the top of the tablet on either side. If you're going to use a micro SD card, it's very easy to install. We just open the flap, it opens easily. The card slips right in, you'll have to press to lock it. It can be a little bit of a challenge without nails of any kind but after a try or two, we'll get it in there. It's been a few months since I received this tablet and it's been left in the box. So I just want to plug it in and make sure it's charged before we set it up. Time to power up the tablet and we'll get it set up. We'll just press and hold the power button. Now that we're about to set it up, I'm very happy that the very first screen gives us the opportunity to improve the size of the text. My vision is not fantastic, so I'm going to uh, raise the size of that text. I'm going to choose English United States, even though I happen to be in Canada, and then I will push continue. Now it wants us to connect to a Wi-Fi, and I'm going to do that right away. It'll ask for your password, of course. And so once we're ready, we'll click continue. It'll connect to the Wi-Fi network. This screen's asking us to register our tablet. If you don't already have an Amazon account, you can click where it says start here if you're new to Amazon. And then otherwise, you'll just put in your Amazon information and then hit continue. It'll say registering your tablet and give you an opportunity for two-step verification, which I recommend for every device always, although you do have an option to click don't require one-time password on this browser. We've got a few options here for convenience to enable location services, auto save photos and videos, and save Wi-Fi passwords to Amazon. If you want to deselect any of those, go ahead and then just click continue. Depending on when you've purchased your tablet, you might be presented with a screen similar to this asking if you want to update the tablet right away. You could skip this, but I always do all my updates immediately. So we'll do that now and then continue. The tablet lets us know it's installing the updates and then it's going to restart.
as it's restarting, it's going to continue installing the system update. Again, the tablet might reset. Might take a second just to double check that it's connected to the internet. This screen is giving us the opportunity to make a child profile if we want the tablet to be basically kid friendly. You can read through this if you'd like to. I don't need that, so I'm just gonna tap not now and continue. The next thing that we're able to do if we want to is set a pin or a password to lock up the tablet. You may not want to. I suggest it on every device. Uh, so I will choose either a pin or a password and then I will click continue. Right away, it's giving us the opportunity to download some free apps or games if we wanted to. I will skip this screen for now, but we will add YouTube. It's interesting that it happens to be the first app available out of the social networks. Looks like our tablet is ready to use. There's lots included if we want to swipe right or left. And then it's got settings available, of course, as well as utilities if we need them. Just in case your tablet doesn't happen to have YouTube readily available, we'll look through the Amazon App Store to download that right now. First thing we'll do is go over to the search and start typing. It comes up right away. We'll choose download. And when it's ready to go, it'll say open. For the best experience, of course, we're going to want to log in. I'll exit out to the home screen. And there's YouTube on our home page now. I'm going to leave a link in the description of this video so that you can get more information about this Fire HD 10 tablet from Amazon or purchase one for yourself. That's a look at the Amazon Fire HD10 Android tablet. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, I'd love it if you'd give it a thumbs up. Share it with anybody who you think might like to see it. And leave me a comment. Let me know if you have a tablet like this or another one you'd like me to look at. And we'll see you the next time from KevinK.com. Take care. Bye-bye.